Washington County, whose homes were impacted by a gasoline pipeline leak, can have their voices heard tonight. There is a community meeting after more than a half dozen private wells were found to be contaminated. Our Nick Montez live in the town of Jackson this morning with the very latest information. Nick, good morning. Yeah, good morning. That meeting is scheduled for tonight at 7 at the Jackson Area Community Center. But before that happens, the DNR is expecting to get some test results back at about 10 this morning. And each time they've tested the drinking water, the results have, be have gotten worse and worse. Residents in this town of Jackson neighborhood are bracing for the worst. Jane Gratzett feels West Shore Pipeline isn't being upfront about the July 17th gas spill. So you don't know if your water's safe to drink or not? Not at all. Not at all. More than a dozen homes in Jane's neighborhood are waiting to find out if their wells are contaminated with benzene found in gasoline. So far, seven out of 70 are contaminated. I've actually taped the faucets. Rebecca Felbo is waiting for test results. Obviously, I'm terrified. Um, you, know, you don't know what you're going to come home to if you're going to have a home when you come home from work. And West Shore Pipeline executives will be in Jackson this morning and we'll be asking them about the gas bill, just exactly how much has leaked and how exactly this rupture happened. On your side in the town of Jackson, Nick Montez, today's TMJ4. Thanks.